Masood, good afternoon, or it's nighttime for you, right? Uh, hey, Dennis, how is everything going? Uh, I was it's connected good. with two devices, so it was as of creating a yeah. lot of echo. Not a problem. Not a problem. Yeah. How is everything going? Quite good. Pretty good. I kind of have to do a reset on the CRM thing, but that's okay. The um, mm -hmm. it, it is what it is. <laughs> um, how you been? Are you based in India? Or are you here stateside? Oh no no. Uh, I'm basically in ba in Bangladesh. Okay, so you're man. It's yep. What? Kind of remote. Or two o'clock. Your hours are wild. I respect you for being <laughs> on the phone for us. Thank you. I know that's uh, hard. That, I've had to do lots of weird hour calls for my work, and it's takes a yep. special commitment. So. Awesome. Very obvious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. By the Thank way, you. how is your business going? Everything good? Good. Yeah. I um. I knew I was going to have a about a ten day period where I had to unplug for some work and family stuff and that was last couple of weeks so i'm just getting back into things and i was trying to find what you and i did a few weeks back i can't find any of it and um i can't even find the youtube video um that you suggested and i was like what the hell so uh, i'm kind of frustrated um but well if if other people join we can cover stuff and then maybe we circle back and do something but yeah, sure um Okay, so I was trying to, because if you helped me set a couple things up and I was going to go pick that back up and finish and then yep. I can not yeah, even find what we did. So um, I apologize for that. Um, no, it's completely okay. We can check it up. No worries. I appreciate your patience. Okay, no. um, yeah, it's, it's like, okay, so probably it's going to be a bit better today because we're going to, we are going to be learning about how to set up calendars inside not only about calendars and also it's going to be about starting from calendars and ending with the automations that means for example i'm going to i'm going to do a live calendar editing inside with one of our another clients uh, maria ringel so after yeah, that i know maria yeah yeah exactly so i'm going to be setting up her calendar inside in front of everyone so also we'll be setting up her automation inside as well so that's going to be easy for all of you to understand right easy. so do i need to be logged in to yeah. do it at the same time or just watch if you want i can do it for you as well if we if we have the basic things well this i can't even thing. find my login that's part of the problem okay. i mean um wait for a second. i i saw i saved it because i got in there before when we you and i did it and i can't find it anywhere it's just okay. weird so um if you can give me a login Remind me of what it, yeah. what it is. Remember the biz, I mean, the business name you had for your account? Yeah. It, well, I, I think we put it as MCQ Properties. Okay, it's going to be MCQ Properties. Yeah, I can see it. Yep. So yeah. is it Client Harbor or is it the other one? Is it the um, Go High Level? Yeah, it's going to be Go High Level, but I'm sending you the exact links. That's the important fact. Okay. Yeah, thanks. And I'll log in yeah, and we have the follow stuff. along. Yep. We have the Are stuff. you sending it on text or email? Uh, yeah, I'm sending it. I'm sending you on text. Uh, can you give me your WhatsApp number so that I can, you know, be in a bit yeah. for me? It's 512-289. Uh, you can drop it in the, I mean. Drop it in the chat. Yeah, that can be a bit better. Okay. It's my mobile number, right? Yeah, exactly. Can be yeah, a bit okay. Easier. I think, and I think Maria joined. So, um, yep. Hey, Maria. Can we meet again? Huh. Hi, Masood. Yes. Hi, Dennis. Good afternoon. Hi, Maria. Okay. Yeah, Masood was just helping me. So, so lucky. <laughs> My lucky day. We're going to yeah. draft. We're going to draft behind you, Maria. Nice. You're nice. Setting a good example. Awesome. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. I'm just sending you the exact ones. Wait a sec. Okay. It's going to be the username, email, and the password. Thank you. Wait. I'm just getting set up with this. So, yeah. Okay. So, probably uh, 
can you check your email, Dense? Yeah. I mean, the exact email. I, I just sent you the email you were supposed to get the email from. The forgot okay. password email. Hang on. Let me get over there. Too many windows yeah. open. Have you found any? Yep. Reset password. Yep. That's okay. it. I'm getting in here. You have your access back? I'll, I'll just keep going. I'll holler at you if it gets sure. stuck. It's kind of, It's got to go to the website and all that. I'm with okay. you. No worries. All right. This is where it got hung up before. It was sending me a code and it took forever. Uh, please let me know when you can, uh, you know, just enter to your account. Sent the code. Okay, great. And it's I'm in. Okay, great. Thank you for waiting. Okay. So have you been able to log into your account? Yeah, I'm in. Okay, perfect. So I'm just showing my screen for Maria's page right now. That can be a bit better. Uh, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Uh, Maria? Okay, yes. perfect. So the first way how we start navigating the calendars is in, click onto this calendar page and the calendar tab, what we talk about, whatever. Click onto this calendar settings. You're supposed to get uh, already. We had one single calendar inside ready for you. So you can just go for the this customized calendar. I'm, I'm going to be telling you about how to customize this calendar. Also, I'm going to be telling you how can you create a new calendar inside. That's a better way. Starting with the customization one first. So you have to click on this edit bar, edit part. After clicking on this edit, you can click on to, for example, book a discovery call with Maria here. That's the thing. Then that being said, if you want to customize your URL, for example, I'm just customizing this URL for Maria. So in that case, the best way to go for it is almost like this. But uh, book discovery call uh, slash Maria, easier way. So the way how we can talk about that, okay. Uh, Maria, can you uh, send me one of your pictures so that I can just put it here inside of your calendar? Okay, let me let me try that. Uh, send sure. it to you on on WhatsApp or where you want me to send it to? Uh, I think WhatsApp can be better. Okay, let me let me try that. Yeah, sure. And while she's doing that, I got in here and. You actually set up a basic one for me when we did this last time. Yep. So I'll go in here and just make sure it's all one and one. one thing. Uh, and I'll change it. Yep. Let me do one thing. Uh, I'm just going to do it for simultaneously for Dennis and Maria. Let's see how it goes. Oh, dual screen. You're adventurous. Yep. We can do it for both screens. Oh, it's going to be MCQ properties. So we have both of them. We have WealthNet Capital and we have MCQ Properties LLC. Okay. So inside of this calendar, this was supposed to be the calendar we booked in the previous slides, right? Book a yep. discovery call with Dennis. Yep, and I just haven't gone in here to do anything, so we will now. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Dennis, can, uh, can you send your one of your pictures as well so that I can- Like a headshot? You want me to yep. upload a headshot? Okay, yep. let me just, I'll do that while we're- Yep, got one from Ray Maria. Okay. I've collected the pictures. So now the way how I'm gonna upload it is like clicking on to uploads, going back to, okay, probably is it a EPUB file? Let me guess. Okay, so JPG file, okay, got it. It was stored in the desktop. 
I was searching for the downloads. Okay, so if I clicking on to right now, this is going to create a headshot for Maria itself. After clicking on with that, I'm going to be saving this calendar and starting with this new one. So just confirming, guys, this is going to be a personal calendar, not a round robin one. Round The difference between a round robin and a personal calendar is in a round robin, you can add multiple team members in a single calendar. For example, if all of the team members from Dennis wants to be inside, and if all of the team members of Dennis want to be inside, they might not be able to connect with all of the calendars inside. For that, we have to create a round robin calendar. So just confirming, Maria, uh, can you tell me your available time for this calendar? For discovery calls, it would be uh, 1.30 to 4.30. Okay, so 1.30, 1.30 p.m. to 4.30 yes. p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, 4.30 p.m. Yep, okay. same so for all of them. All... Okay, mm -hmm. great. Okay, so do, do you want this to be done for a Saturday and Friday as well? Uh, Saturday, Saturday is fine. Uh, no, no Sunday. Okay, no Sunday. That's it. So with that being said, we go up to the saving sites. Oh, you know what? Actually, Saturday would be in the morning. Can we change it? Yeah, mm. sure. Yeah, because yeah, that's, that's a Saturday. We could do like nine to 11 or nine to 12 something like that okay so it's gonna be about 9 a.m to mm -hmm. 12 p.m yes okay got it so it's changed thank you moving to the forms and payments okay so the current form is only collecting these datas. One is about the first name, last name, email, phone number, and notes. So if we don't necessarily have any forms with, which we want to follow, these are the exact information this calendar is going to extract from the clients. So if we want a different calendar, or for example, if we want a different forms that includes different informations, we have to make one by ourselves inside Go High Level, and we can just select the form inside, right? That's gonna be easier. <clears throat> For now, I'm just uh, skipping that, moving to the notification part. Okay, so one thing we have missed is like, what is this add guest button, right? The way how add this get, add guest button really works, for example, let's say Dennis wants to book a call with Maria, but Dennis also wants some of his team member to join the call as well, or Dennis also wants some of the investor to join the call as well, right? Of course, uh, we want guests to be done. So if I click onto this add guest, Dennis can significantly add or Dennis have the window to add some of the other individuals as well. But if I don't necessarily correct it down, only Dennis is the one who can definitely call, book a call. So I always recommend to have this for the guest because you never know if an individual wants to connect with you as a team, it definitely needs to be done. Then the acknowledgement email, of course, the same one. And you want them to be done for all of them. For example, the contact who is actually uh, booking a call with you. Second is the guest, for example, whom the contact is adding. For example, for here, that is team members. And then finally, they allow Google Calendar to send invitations and update email to attendees. Okay, that being said, going on to the save. So we necessarily don't already have this calendar inside. Let's I'm say. following along with you here. Yeah, it's okay. On this, uh, you're not to sync option yet, but when you get there, I got a question. Yeah, okay. Sure, sure. Okay, so the reason why we don't necessarily see any link to calendar here is because we don't necessarily have connected our like Google inside, right? So after we connect our Google, if we connect our Google, we will have the option to go connect our Google Calendar inside. So that is the easier ones. After we do that, if we do that, that's the thing. So we're closing this bar. So now we have our calendar ready, no, but it's not over. Well, it's over. Let's go back to the automations itself, right? <laughs> the best way to go for it. Right. Okay. We have our calendar ready. The first important thing is how do we integrate this calendar inside multiple pages, right? That's the very first one. Like 
a single calendar doesn't necessarily make any sense. Even though the first way to share it, you have to go into this option share. After clicking on to share, there are exactly three different options. Option where, number where one. Where did you? Where's the share? Button? Okay. Uh, this three dots over here. The action drop. Oh, down. okay. So, I'm not getting three dots. The tongue. Yep. This is part of the problem I had before. It's like, it. I click on calendars. Mm -hmm. It sends me to calendar. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to get back in settings. Yep. Exactly. Okay. It was okay. Sent, it was supposed to send you to settings. Okay. So if you click on to yeah, this, I, I'm there now. Okay. Now I'm going to share. Got it. All right. Okay. So inside of the share, there are exactly three options and three options are significantly different. For example, this first option about the permanent link is something that I always recommend to give out to anyone. That means this specific link is not going to change. That's for sure. That means anytime, every time, no matter how many times people, you know, start booking calls with you, this link is going to be absolute. That's for sure. But if you click onto the scheduling link, it's going to be there for only one or two clients, but it has some <laughs> limits. For example, uh, not everyone at the same time with, okay. Not everyone at the same time will be going to be scheduling. Link. Let's just say it's not a very good option to go for is your voice. Yeah, so okay. we're reaching out to folks, especially like in LinkedIn or stuff and saying schedule an appointment. We wanna use the permanent one. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. Okay. Now, the important factor is not every time we can send people to the calendar or uh, in individual calendar, right? Obviously. Sometimes we need to embed the whole calendar inside of our website. That means mm -hmm. people want to be inside of our website and also want to book the call at the same time. So the, for that, you need to click on this embed code. No worries. Uh, I'm not a student of code. Very obvious. But you, you don't also have to be as, as well. Just copy this embed code link and go to if you're setting up inside go high level go to any sites you want i'm just i'm just showing it for a test right now for example i want this calendar to be there in this in person event challenge so let's say we have a cute opt in page here so inside of this opt in page let's see how we can you know embed this whole calendar inside that means our agenda is very simple people coming to this page also have the option to connect or schedule a call with us, right? That's the easier way. And that should be our agenda. So inside Go High Level, the best way to do it is like click onto this plus button over here. So for example, I'm going into a lower sites. So let's say I want to do it for here. I'm taking a full row. And if I take a one column as well, I should be getting an option called calendars. If you see, not no not any code, just click onto a calendar. If you click onto calendar, you will you have the option to support this one individual calendar link. So now, even though I haven't pasted any sort of links or any other things, by automatically it's understanding that which calendar I want to book. So let's say how this how this page is supposed to look right now. So let's see, it's gonna be published right now. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, so for now, anyone who is visiting this cool website right now is going to have this whole calendar inside. Yep, here we go, here we go. So they don't necessarily have to go for any links. This specific thing, this element has been added to your website. So now if they want to allow this kind of things, they have to put in their first name, their last name, their phone numbers, their email at the same time, and moving on to this option part. Remember I talked about the add guest option? Remember? So if you mm -hmm. click onto this add guest over here, you can add the guest name and the guest email. You can add as multiple as possible. For example, let's say the guest name is this. So I'll take, yep. So you can add as many guests as possible your choice. But if I click on the schedule meeting right now, it's going to have a meeting inside Go High Level. So now, as you can see, if they want, they can connect their, they can save this exact entire meeting inside of their own individual links. For example, own individual calendars. They have three options, one about Google Calendar, 
one about the Outlook calendar, and third about the uh, iCloud calendar. Simple and sweet. Now let's talk about in this site. The most important part in this case is that, okay, I do understand. Now I want customizations. Very simple. So the way how customization would work that, okay, I want to identify all of them who have connected for me or who have scheduled a call with me. So that's how we're going to start with this automation tab. So let's say if I click on just that, who is giving me a call? So if I click on to this, uh, start with the scratch, uh, were you, uh, are you guys with me? Hello? Yes. A lot. Yeah. Keep going. So let's say now we are calling it to be a calendar automation. So inside of this calendar automation, the first thing that when do I really want this automation to be done? Before that, let's just see what do we want from this automation? Everyone who is booking a calendar, I mean, who is booking a call with me, I want them, I want to send them a confirmation email. So for example, if I click on, there is an option called send email, I want them to send a confirmation email. For now, I'm just sending it as a template. I'm going to be, I'm gonna be adding to different, different versions. That means how do the email look like? I can customize the emails inside, but for now, let's just say we made some things. Okay, for now, let's just say it's a confirmation email, right? And also, I want them to have a confirmation SMS as well. Same, goes for them, send an SMS to them, yep. So now, the important question is, after I add them to this confirmation email and SMS, of course, it's an automated process. That means every time anyone scheduling a call with me with that, with that calendar, is right now going to receive this confirmation email and getting this SMS at the same time. But the most important part is, is it all what we can? No, not necessary. How do we understand or how do we set up that this automation already works even when I'm not working or for example, even when I'm not there, right? So that for that, you need to add a trigger and the trigger is the appointment settings. For example, the appointment set status is going to be customer booked appointment with you and customer booked appointment with the filter, we want them to have inside of the calendar and the inside of the calendar is book a discovery call with Maria. That means what is gonna happen is anyone booking a calendar call with this calendar or through this calendar is going to receive confirmation email and SMS automatically. Even when I'm not there, even when I'm not necessarily intervening anything, it's gonna be doing it over and over again. Right. For example, now I can play around it with a lot of things. For example, I can start with that. Okay, I want to identify them with a contact tag. Right. For example, I want them to identify as what do I say? We can identify them as okay, call booked. So if you click on to add a new tag, this system will automatically assign a tag to them, or I will say a label to them, so that you can identify them after this. Now the question is, why is it even important, right? That's a very important thing that, okay, why is this tagging important? The important factor is when you have a multiple web, I mean, if you see it right now, we don't necessarily have any contacts, right? As you can see, we don't necessarily have any contacts. Only two contacts of these two. I mean, after, after uh, Maria, do you already have the lead list? I mean, uh, who are the leads you're trying to catch about this? I have not uh, created it on Excel, but yes, I have uh, pretty much every, everybody on my phone book and I have other people that I've, I've been writing them down. Yeah, Is that's it okay. a, uh, what a lead list would be something that I can upload? Yeah, sure, exactly. Yeah. This, is how, this, this is how you can upload. Okay, let's just go to uh, Dennis, Dennis's uh, contacts inside. So as you can see, there might be multiple contacts in a single one. I mean, after, after you upload them, that's for sure. But... For that, you need the label to identify them, first of all, and you need the label to make sure you want some automations to be done, right? For example, if I click onto this tag, after every every time, if I want only this segmented customers to have any automated SMS 
or any automated actions, I can identify this segmented customers. So the customer segmentation is really important and that's the reason why this tagging is important. So for now, let's say we necessarily, uh, they're already done. Now the question is, how do I understand that if one of the customers are already here in the system? You know, if the system is automated, very obvious, I might not necessarily see it and the customer or a very good investor might directly go away, right? Of course, they're not waiting for anyone else. So the, for that, you need to go for this option about internal notification. What internal notification sends you is that, okay, it's going to be, for example, I'm just sending an internal notification about the SMS for you, right? The way how the SMS is gonna work like is that right now, I'm going to be assigning new contact scheduled a call name. Okay, now the question is, can I understand every each, each and every other's name, right? I can't. Of course, name is going to be different for everyone. But what I can understand is, do you guys remember the only uh, first one we had? I mean, the, there was a form name initially about telling the full name, right? What I can know is that I can necessarily customize this one specific option. That means for now, I can click on to contact name. I can click on to phone number. So it's gonna be about the contact phone number. I can click on to what? The appointment time. The reason why we have to do it is because sometimes in the another, it's very obvious we're humans. It's very unlikely that we're gonna just, you know, remember everything and we can track everything over the time. So after I do it, the important factor is, let's just see what happens. After I do it, every time an individual is booking an appointment, they're going to be having a confirmation email. They're going to be having a SMS. They're going to be having a tag which will segment them in a customer group. And after all of this, I will receive a internal notification SMS inside of my phone explaining what is the customer's name, what is, what is his phone number, what is the appointment time he wanted me to appoint. So now I'm also informed and the customer is also informed that he was supposed to have a meeting today. That's the thing. Very easier way to do. So for now, let's say the calendar automation works like this. We can also add some multiple other options. For example, if you guys want this, we can also add the exact task for any of the members. For example, if any individual member of Dennis or individual team member of Dennis or Maria, uh, if you guys assign someone like this, you can click onto this add task. After clicking onto this adding task, you can add task for them inside of this. But that's a, like a bit advanced things, but for now, the basic calendar automation works like this. One, you get, get them a confirmation email. Second, you get them an SMS, you get them a tag, and then you have yourself a notification too. You can have it, of course. Uh, is there any question throughout this time? Or else we can move on to the next next step. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense? Uh, Denise, does, does it make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. I'm a little lost, but I'll, uh, I'll so go back in here. Okay, okay, no worries. Let's see in this space. So now, just going back and forth. One, <clears throat> we set up our calendar. Two, we set up an automation, right? Three, what we have to do is, okay, now after the automation is working fine, for example, we want this automation to be working in a single workflow. That means we want this to be done only for a segmented customer. How do we do this? For now, I'm going back to opportunities. Okay, let me let, let me just make it a bit easier uh, compared to it might look just a bit tough, but let's just be easier in this case. After we have this exact calendar automation, the automation part of the calendar is done, very obvious. Now, all you have to do is make sure a lot of people is just coming here and booking appointments with, appointments with you so that you can add multiple things for them with the calendar side. So if you create this automation inside first, they're more likely to create this. Now, the question is, 
how do we set up sites? That's the first one. Because at some point in time, this is something that actually decides a lot of things. That means your landing page. You can hire someone for the landing page for a better ones, or you can hire someone for the automation expert as well. Also, you can hire someone for them, but of, of course, just make sure that your automation and this landing page is significantly working good because your money is, or else your money is just going to channels. That's for sure. Like very obvious. If there is no direct uh, good people to build it, it's going to be tough for you. Now the question is, what are the type of automations we could do? For now, we only heard about, we only know about the calendar automation inside, right? So now the question is, what is the customer segmentation we can do? So for example, right now, Maria is, for example, running a multi-million dollar real estate agency. So there can be a lot of things at the same time. There will be some leads who are completely new, which Maria have to call. There can be some leads who are who whom Maria already called, but they need a follow-up. There can be some leads who showed some effects, or there can be some leads who showed some investments already, but haven't invested with Maria before. So that's exactly what opportunities really mean. But that means what are the customer segments and what is the segment this customer is really falling under? Is this customer a returning investor? Is this customer a follow-up customer? Is this customer a new lead call as well? The question is, you can also create your own segments inside. This is also like this is only one of the pipelines what we created. The way how pipeline works is very obvious. You create your customer segments inside. Very easy. So let's say I'm creating an investor pipeline for you guys. So for example, for Maria, let's say Maria wants a uh, Maria is calling a lot of investors inside. So Maria have five type of investors. One type is basically who are the new leads. That means never invested. Uh, let's just say yet to call. Let's say it's your work. Yet to call. Now, second, what can we have? What, what can it happen? That I mean, called, but haven't responded. haven't responded that can be one thing what can be another one called but but what do i can okay called and showed interest oh wow things are going bad okay however called and invested one million let's just say Called and reaching new projects. So now the important factor is there are. What was the last one? What, what was the last one? Okay, okay. okay. preaching new projects. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, what's that? Just think, just think about uh, if. Oh, then maybe not this one, but the next one. Though. Is that. Like I'm, I can't invest now, but maybe later. Is that what that means? I don't know. It's basically about. Okay, you just yeah. were making something up. I've That's already invested one million. <laughs> I'm on the other call. It's like, why don't you invest ten million in my that? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so I was building this one was, as you yep. were doing that at the now, same time. If you understand it correctly. <laughs> these five type of customers have five different uh, mindset right now. Those who are significantly at a very new call. You cannot talk to them directly how you talk to a call, an investor who already invested one million. So that means the customer segment is significantly different. The automation inside should also be different as well. The email what you send them should also be different. The right. communication that you do should also be different at the same time. That is the first reason why we need them inside of this opportunity step. Inside of this opportunity, you need to segment them properly. And exactly when you can set different type of automation for different customer segments. So now let's go back to these and let's collect with this. If I go back to start from scratch, let's say any individual is right now inside this automation. Let's say opportunity. So inside of this opportunity status created, uh, opportunity status changed, Let's say the current opportunity is basically about what? 
is inside of this pipeline, investors. And inside of the investors, he is having what? He is moved from this status. Okay, now. Uh, he is inside the pipeline stage, this one. So for example, this is only an automation. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, probably it's a different one. Let's see. Go high level. The the very best thing about go high level is like you have a lot of things, and the worst thing about go high level is also you have a lot of things. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the way how we call it is like pipeline status change. Let's say individually it's inside of the pipeline investors and it's already inside of the pipeline new leads yet to call. So let's say what have I really done here? I have only segmented those customers who are right now inside of my new leads call. That means any of the customers who are inside of my other opportunities tab. That means anyone who is right now accredited investors or anyone who is right now, uh, you know, about who has already called but haven't responded, any of the other four type of customers are not going to be inside of this. So this is what I really call a mind, real mind mapping, right? You can set up your customer's mind exactly how you really want. So now you know exactly a customer's mind is significantly blank. You don't necessarily know uh, whether to invest or not. So you can start with a very easier message. You Now you can really do whatever you want. For example, if you want to create a, like, a basic email starting from the very first, let's say, okay. For example, I'm sending a first emails and I'm making a wait hours of around what? A one day. I want, if I want to send this hours account, or for example, if I want this, E next email to be sent after one day, I can set up a waiting period within one day. The way the, the reason why it is important is because the next email won't be going before one day. That means this is going to be email one. That's first. So for example, right now we have cell check, right? For example, cell check coming here and cell check is one of these kind of customers who are yet to call and Maria just got them from some of the lead forms or some of the webinar calls and whatever, right? Of course, Maria just got them. So in that case, Selchuk will receive this first email and Selchuk, after this first email, will wait for one day. This automation will wait for one day and send the next email. Yeah, it's like a drip, what we call it, a drip campaign. Like a drip. Yeah. And the most yeah. important fact is, it's actually working automatically. You don't necessarily have to do anything much. You only have to set it up once. And set it's going to yeah. Yeah. Exactly. be working in the overflow. So now you can literally set up this exact mind flow to convert your customers over the time. Uh, I so, uh, can I ask a question here? Uh, sure. Can I ask a question? Because I got a little bit of chicken and egg going on here in my head. You may not. Maria will understand that reference. You may not, but... Um, so do I need to have a web landing page before I, I start doing some of this reaching out for meeting stuff, or do I just need to have an email with the zoom automation set up like we already have and just start reaching out to people? Does it matter? Okay. Now the question is, if you already have the exact emails inside, I mean, yeah, have because I've got a bunch of contacts that are emails, exactly. but, but I don't have a website set up yet. Okay. I have a LinkedIn profile that I could use, but uh, to be honest, you don't necessarily need a website right now, but for the very yeah. longer term, when you need an extra level of contacts after this, that's going to be the time when you might need a website, but not now to be very honest. I not mean, for, okay. But that's good. That's why I didn't know. Cause that I'll put that web piece to the side and yeah, get, exactly. the, doesn't necessarily get the contact to. stuff going first because yeah, exactly. I've I been know. doing that manually right now and it, you know you know this will help automate that that's yep, great exactly. and then I can do the website you later create this automation inside in the end time your basic goal is to convert your customer right right as you say okay no that's that's a big that's good thanks for helping figure that that out Maria do you already have a, a website set up I'm just curious 
I, I don't have a website yet. No. Uh, okay. Today was my very first day getting my um, CRM set up. Yeah, yeah. No, you're so you're like me. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm also I'm also gonna be working on getting a the Zoom, but you know the business with the business name instead of just my personal instead of the freebie one. How much? Yeah. How much is that? How much is the business one? Um, I don't know. I haven't I haven't done that yet. Yeah, I haven't either. Guess. I've just been using the freebie one, um, and I probably will to, just to get started. But okay, I, yeah. I, I, I digress. Yeah, I might, I <laughs> might keep it, but I might just add a change the email. Well, yeah, that that's because right now I have been Maria. Me back too. Do you have a G, yeah? What's your email? I, ha right I now? have a yeah. I have a Yahoo, and maybe I'll just change it to the to to for it to look like the uh, WealthNet Capital instead. Uh, so yeah. that email instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I probably just need to do that because what I was going to pardon us for just a second, yeah, um, mm -hmm. I was planning on using the email that Massive was going to give us mm -hmm. for some of the stuff that they were doing, but we're having issues with that. So uh, I should probably just go get one. Um, it's not that expensive, right, to go get one that's branded and it's not a Gmail. It could be Gmail, but doesn't look like a Gmail, right? Um, that's, oh, that's probably what I need to do and then use that. It just looks much more professional, right? That's yeah, all yeah, exactly. I, I get that. I just haven't done it yet. I was, I was thinking because part of what... Um, Part of what Massive was saying is, yeah, we're going to give you this email and we'll use it for different things. And it was this, um, like mine is, I think, McQueen, the McQueen at multifamily.com or whatever, something like that. But we're having issues with it receiving emails. So I'm going to let them figure that out. I'll just go get, I'll just go get one that's going to be my business yeah, email. You can do it. You can do yeah, it. Definitely. It's not, yeah, I'll just go do that. Okay. And then I'll use that. Yeah, when I plug it into this automation stuff. Okay. Yep. Thanks yep. for the assignment. Um, go ahead. Okay, just to be clear. So now, uh, right now, if we want, we can literally assign the exact ones. Uh, just to be clear, uh, just a bit of recommendation. I recently read one of the books. I think you guys can also read a very good book in my read. It's like a book called Sell Like Crazy by Sabri Subi. If you guys already mm -hmm. have it, you can definitely get yep. it. Sell Like Crazy? Yep, sell like crazy. Who's the, the, who's the author again? The the author is Sabri Subi, the basic digital marketing agency like King Kong, which is significantly quite doing extremely good. And okay. his book is literally a literally an underground gem. Trust me. Add it to my list. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Okay. So I just started three feet from gold. So this I was be literally next. adding some contents from that. I mean, literally, I was designing the marketing campaigns, and initially, I was designing. Really. The Wow. Yeah, literally, because I, 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 I personally believe that anything that I read, uh, if I don't necessarily implement, I don't necessarily find the value, but to be very honest. Yeah. I'm you have to at honest. least take one thing, if not more, from the, yep. every book you read. Otherwise, you're just going to be book smart. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm not necessarily an academic guy, so that's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> Everything for a reason, that's for sure. Okay. okay, thanks for the aside. That was very helpful, though. So. That's for sure. So now, the way how it works is right now I can really segment uh, what I did was is basically what I'm just renaming it right now. For example, this is for the new leads, right? Uh, actually for the new leads about who is right now yet to call. So in that section, I believe we can just go into this part. One, I'm just currently segment. I'm just currently designing the marketing strategy exactly for someone whom I already haven't called or who haven't invested with me earlier or who haven't rejected me as well so right now i have an extreme understanding about the customer and that is the time in which i can set up the whole marketing campaign inside like i can like to be very honest i can make it much more complex if i want this to be happening like for example yeah but it, no you, you can you keep it simple here you got a couple of steps right so now, how do you do that email do you just click on the three dots there and yeah the, the email, email editing? Editing? you mean the email okay editing? Yeah. Okay. That's how you do it. Okay. The way how it works is, I mean, the way how it works is like you click onto this email, the sub subject line should be there. I I Got personally it. Okay. prefer I personally prefer a plain email, but at some case in the site, if you want, you because this plain email comes with a lot of custom values. I mean, if I want 
to have some custom values inside. For example, let's say, I don't necessarily know the customer's name, right? Very obvious. Right, right. But the, the Google does. So what what I'm gonna do is it's gonna be a stealing method. I'm click I'm gonna be clicking onto this contact custom value and clicking onto this first name. The reason why it's and then gonna it'll be put it in there. Yep, very good. Yep. Okay. So for example, any his Google name is gonna be about uh uh for example what Zara Fashions. Let's just say. So the first thing that if I send them the email is gonna be about hello concern. Uh, it sounds very unfamiliar rather than right. hello Zara. And that's a very easier way to go for. So I'm yeah, gonna... that's the power of this is it helps personalize, automate, and personal personalize. Yeah, I'm just setting up once, and I'm getting the whole lifetime pie for free, almost. So it's all about making the system. To be very honest, it's, that's what I believe from my end. That okay, make it make the system and and just pile the cash. <laughs> that's the easy way. Okay. So in that case, for example, if I do it, I can get a lot of custom values. For example, starting with this first name, last name, starting with the email they actually sent us, or for example, starting with the phone numbers they already have inside of the Goha level, uh, starting with the company name and all the other details they are they really have. The one thing what we don't necessarily identify is like any software inside internet is gonna be extracting a lot of information we never really know. Like, Gen genuinely, like for example, if any individual is inside Goha level, at least with any sort of form, it's very highly likely that they literally have every other data points here. That means when did they message that the first time? When was the message attachments at the same time? Everything, to be honest. However, that's not the purpose. The purpose was to actually talk about how do we design our customer's mind. That's the first thing. So now, right now, if I set it up to any automation, what is the important factor here? The important factor is the same automation will be running anytime I'm putting a opportunity inside. For example, I'm putting an opportunity A, or let's say I'm putting this opportunity myself, for example. Let's just say A as a contact, right? So what I'm doing right now is going to be about, okay, yep, as you can see. So, for example, this opportunity opportunity name, which is name is A, who is inside of this opportunity right now, investor mm -hmm. new call. Let's say he's someone who already called and he showed interest. After I remove him manually from this to this column, any actions or any automations inside this new leads or new yet to call leads is going to be stopped. Because right now this mm. customer's mind has changed, right? That's what we're doing. So for that lead. Yep. So yeah. Now, okay. Now, Not for that, everybody. Just that lead. Just just that lead. Yeah. So in that okay. case, anytime a lead is moving towards from one column to another, this automation will also automatically change. That's what we have to find out as well. That now you said manually move. Um, okay, do you have to manually move, or if he's a new lead, she? Uh, depends on if we ne if we necessarily set, paid up a system depending on links, then we can create it at an automated level. If we're okay. deciding if a customer is de completely dependent on like calling, that's a thing, or for example, personal meeting, then you have to move it through the manual because. That's okay. Only, you you have the call with the person. You make yeah, your exactly. notes, and you can decide to move if, them forward or not. Being, I, okay. Exactly. okay. But okay. Yeah, so when I that call systems, when I if I want the systems to be doing it, I can definitely do it. But the process is gonna be different. For example, the way how it might work is like I'm gonna be sending an email automation to this guy, the guy A. After doing it, very obvious. After doing it, this specific guy. If he clicks to a, one single link I send them to, I can automatically set up an automation that if this contact A is clicking on to link X, he is gonna be automatically moved to here, moved here. Yeah, With that's advanced. Control. That that's advanced stuff. Yeah, yeah I, I got you. Okay. That depends on for starters having this. Tell me if I'm getting this right here. For starters, you have this basic flow. Yeah. And like for example, we've got several. Massive has several properties in LOI. We're going to get some under contract. We're going to all be asked to 
help do capital raising. We could set up an opportunity, capital raise, right? And then as we get new leads in here, we'll call them. We're going to have some conversation. We'll make some notes. And then we can move them into these buckets to move them forward or archive them, right? That's that's fundamental. That's um, as we get smarter and the more depth, we can get more automated. Is that kind of, is that oversimplifying or? It makes sense, yes. Okay, sense. okay. Maria, was that helpful or confusing? Yeah, that, that's that's helpful. Okay, now Thank there you. is one thing we have to co uh, cover in the site. That is the number inside Go High Level. For example, the way how you have to call them, the reason why you can either call from your own phone number, that okay, how are you doing and everything else. But if you want, you can set up the exact whole system as a system phone number. And the benefit is very simple. It's like you can exactly use every data points inside of the call what you use. That means, for example, you can use the automations inside Goha level for some people who only spoke to you for around 20 seconds. Let's say how it works. I'm going back to one of the accounts who already have these things. For example, I'm going back to B properties. Liz and Barbie, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this was this number that you need to purchase for a two bucks or something, right? Exactly. And yeah, there has to be it, something. Okay, yeah, fine. and it didn't do it. I got I, I got to go back and do that. Yeah, and it, for yep. some reason, you and I, yep. when we were doing it, it never took. You just have so. to go to this, uh, as you can see. The, you have to go to the settings. Uh, same okay. thing for you, Maria, as well, by the way. That's for sure. I forgot to tell you because if you click onto this phone number, both of you, if you okay. click onto this phone number, you can you definitely find it through. And inside of it, you have to buy one of the phone number inside. I mean, just around two or three bucks probably. If I click onto this add phone number, you will definitely find from your own city as well. I would definitely, uh, I would request that go for this filtering option and search for the exact ones. Or for example, search yeah. for the preferred ones, that's the thing. After you click it out, uh, after you click onto this, you will do, definitely go back to proceed to buy. So after you buy this, I have to do one single thing for you guys. That That's what we call A2P10 DLC. That means the basic alliance with the governments itself. That means you are allowed to call the other people inside. After you, after you can do it, the best way to go for it is basically inside this conversation tab. Another biggest wizard of Kohai level. The important reason is because this conversation tab is you can literally control a lot of your conversation inside. What you are sending to a client or for example, you are right now having a call, right? For example, Maria is calling uh, Maria is calling Selchuk right now on a single manual call. The problem with the single manual call is you can you, it's very tough that you can take a lot of actions inside. What do you mean by a lot of actions? One, it can be a lot of appointments instant appointment books it can be a new notes what maria wants to add it can be what it can be initially about a new actions maria wants to take the best way to take it inside is basically going back inside go high level and start with this conversation tab the best way to do it or now the question is how can maria call them inside as you can see there is something about the power dialer right it's the easier way what do I mean by the power dialer is you have to set up a manual call, what we call auto dialer. Setting up an auto dialer is super easy. It's also inside of the automation. Let's say if I click onto an auto dialer inside of this, I will call it an auto dialer for Maria. So if I click onto this auto dialer, simple. I'll, the only action I have to go for is basically a manual call. Very simple. Now the question is, when do we? I when do I want this auto dialer to have contacts? That means at what level I really want some people, or for example, I have millions of other contacts to call, right? But at some people, where do I actually segment this customer? The best way to segment this customer is, for example, remember already Maria had this. Uh, automation stage inside. Let's mm -hmm. see for the opportunity tab. If I go to this, for example, Maria has this stage, what we call called, and right now we are more likely to preach him new projects. 
who is the very best pro prospect for us? Who is already inside of this investment column, right? That means we have called them. They have invested around one million, so they are going to be the best prospect for calling this new for calling for this new projects. Very kind of put them on the short list. Yeah. Okay. This short listing. and this short listing can only be done if I click onto this pipeline stage changed. So if I click onto this pipeline stage change, more likely I'm just gonna I'm just gonna identify this. That, okay, they're inside of this investor pipeline, and they're gonna be there has to be a pipeline stage. Yep. Yep, that's it. So now what's happening? If you understand it correctly, anytime this any actor or for example, if any contact is literally getting inside of this column, that means they have already invested one million they are the very best prospect to call for a new project. That means you have a new property inside and that's the, they might be the best person to call that, okay, you might need capital inside or for example, you might need an investor. That's it. And they're going to be added to your, your manual call list. And if you and that's what we really call the power dialer. That means you are adding everyone to your call list and, and how do you call them? That's a question. That's an easier question. If you click onto this contact tab, oh, sorry, click onto this conversation tab and go to manual actions, you will see there is an option called, as you can see, inside of the automation, there is an option called power dialer. Okay, okay. Okay, wait, okay. Okay, probably this is the power dialer we have. So for example, inside of this power dialer, what is it really? For example, right now, inside of this power dialer, everyone who is right now getting moved to this column is going to be there with their numbers. The only thing Maria have to do is just go click onto this let's start option. Let's go to massive.capital to understand it a bit, bit much easier where we have a lot of power dialers at the same time. So right now I'm in Massive Capital. So inside of this Massive.Capital, we have a lot of uh, good investors on the on the same line. So let's say for now, let's see. Inside of Massive.Capital, we're inside of our manual actions. So inside of our manual action, I just have to identify, for example, this is an auto error from Mike, right? So inside of this Mike, these are the investors or these are the call list Mike have been added. So if I click onto this site, let's start. It will start calling all of them one by one. The best way to go for it, let's just click on to let's start. And you can just sit idle to your chair. And of course, you can have the calls. You don't necessarily have to dial everyone's number with the phone number, everything. And you don't necessarily have to do all the things over and over again. So you have your call list. You have the, ba you have the basic call list. And if you start clicking on, it will automatically start dialing for you. So that's a very easier way to do it. So I just set up the basic automation for Maria about the, uh, okay, about the auto dialer. So make sure your auto dialer is published because if it's not published, it's not gonna be showing inside. So let's say if I go to conversation right now in the manual actions, right now there is a thing called auto dialer Maria, see? So let's say, uh, this up, I mean, I'm setting myself, or for example, I'm count, I'm just collecting these individual to be there inside of that automation. So I'm throwing this contacts inside of that automation to see if it's getting added to the auto dialer of Maria. It's gonna be a test. So as I created the test, let's see, it should be there. Inside of this conversation, this is going to be the manual action. See, this is automatically there. I haven't done anything. That's a clear thing, right? It's automatically there and I, I haven't called him. So if I click onto this, let's start, it will automatically start calling me. So the way how it worked is I just directly moved myself or directly moved this one guy or this one contact inside of this automation which added myself to Maria's call list. And exactly this is the call list we have. See, the H message.
So this call list directly moved me to Maria's auto dialer and this auto dialer directly moved me to this call list inside conversations and it's gonna be inside manual actions. That is the easy way. Okay, so after this, we can stop it for today. So if I wrap it up to all of the things what we have learned today, number one, we have uh, spoke about how do we set up a calendar inside of this, number one. Number two, inside of the calendar, we talked about how do we necessarily design our auto dialer inside, or for example, how do we design our calendar automation inside. And then we talked about for the calendar automation, how do we set up the exact triggers then we talked about the exact opportunities tab. That means how does the opportunity really looks like and how does the customer segmentation really works? We had some very little overview about the automation tab inside. That means how does this automation looks like as to, for example, ideas like auto dialers or for example, ideas like exact calendar automations and stuff like that. That's what the exact thing for this year on Friday this time. And uh, D uh, Dennis, you do you already have anyone for your uh, tech team? Sorry, say again. I mean, do you already have anyone for your tech team ma managing your tech sites? No, I'm by myself. No, <laughs> so if you have suggestions, I'm open to that. And um, and then I have one comment and one question. Yeah, sure. But, um, but going Maria, did you? Maria, did this cover what you were wanting to cover today? Did, or did you have some questions? Uh, well, I mean, it, it was, it covered a lot, but it, it yeah, it, it did, it, it did cover, it did cover. It goes fast. What I was it looking goes for. Very, yeah. It goes fast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I, I think one, one of my, one of my questions is, um, uh, Mermiz was telling me that there are some videos available. So do you happen to know where we can find those, Masood? Yeah, sure. So, so I'm going to be sending you the exact ones. Uh, Denise, you already have it, right? From I have the one about importing my contacts, but that's it. I I was looking for the other tutorial. I couldn't find it. The YouTube one oh, on shit. Client Harbor. Yeah. Okay. Wait, so wait if you can second. send us both the, yeah, exactly. uh, a couple I of links, already, that'd be great. I already have it. That's the easier ways. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, that's very helpful. Okay. Let's see now. Because I mean, you're great, but it's I couldn't keep up with you. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's a yeah, lot it takes, to cover, and I, I'm not complaining. Do not get me wrong. Um, yeah, it's okay. This it's was okay. great, but I need to go back and do stuff, mm -hmm. and so I'm gonna need the video. I'm sure Maria. Okay, by the way, boat. with this Same side as well, we had some previous. Uh, we had some previous sides of these CRM so, CRM Friday calls. Yeah, so, see, I was looking for those. I couldn't find them. Yeah. Where are those? Because there's a lot of recordings. I found a lot of recordings, but they're just by the date. CRM call, you know, March 25th. Well, what the hell's covered there? You know, I don't know. Um, it doesn't tell us what's what. So, um, uh, Maria, can you tell me your email again as well? Maria at WealthNet. Okay. Okay, WealthNet. At WealthNet, WealthNet Capital. Okay, WealthNet Capital. Yeah, dot com. Okay. Maria, while he's doing that, are mm -hmm. you, are you like taking Monday all off or could I get some time with you Monday just to touch base and we, I've been meaning to do a one-on-one -on -one with you. If not Monday, sometime next week. Yeah, I'm available Monday. Uh, just okay. know I'll, um, I'll shoot you a note. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, can you check, yeah. Maria? I already sent you the exact uh, okay. for this. I think it's inside of the Massive Capital Education. Yes. So I think you already have the, uh, the other course available as well. I mean, the Go High Level CRM Overview. So you have both of these yeah, recordings available. So now I need Dennis to be Dennis to be at it. Probably there's a high chance that I is, I, you, I added myself there, but I've been having trouble finding the recordings that are tied to this. Okay, it, um, let's see. Uh, Dennis, can you share your email again? It's D McQueen. Okay. D zero eight zero seven. So M C Q U E N zero eight zero seven. Zero eight zero seven. At, at gmail. Gmail .com. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's Dennis. So let's see. There's a high chance that it's yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I've already logged into that. Um but now the important factor is that you needed the yeah, exactly. You needed this one. 
Yeah, I've been having trouble finding stuff through that okay. system. I, I need to go spend some first. more time. If you don't mind sending me that, that would be very helpful. Thank you. Um. Yep, I just sent you the email. I'll send you the link. Thank you. Same time. And um. Yep, that's okay. It. I still have one more question for you, but Maria, yeah, I want to sure. make sure that you get your stuff covered before I take him off oh, on yeah. a tangent. Yeah, <laughs> my, my, my interest was mainly uh, because I missed the other sessions due to work. So my interest was mainly being able to go back in the Zooms. You know, like you said, he covered so much today and yeah. it's great, but I'm sure I'll forget, mo you know, some of it. So it's That's okay. Are, like, yeah, we yeah, can yeah. help each other when we get. Yeah, I want to do a general one on one with you because we haven't, yeah. and then we can help each other do this because we're kind of sure. at a similar yeah. point. Um, yeah, I received the videos though. Thank you. It there's plenty yeah. in here. Mm -hmm. Yep, great. Well, you have it. Okay. okay. Well, so, by the way, I have a. I think I just found one of the good videos on YouTube as well. I'm sending both of you the links. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And well, you guys can watch this as well. I mean, I yeah, know, I see you sent it. Okay, very good. Um, and I did get, I found the link you sent me earlier that I had lost about importing contacts. Thank you, um, yep. Maria. I'll forward that to you as well, actually. Um, forward. Thank you, Dennis. Import. I'm making a note here so I don't forget. And okay. then um, well, that's the other question I have for you, is it Khalid or is it Masood? I want to get your name right. I'm sorry. Okay, um, it's Masood. It's Masood. Masood, okay. Yeah. Um, on this number thing, buying the number, I went out here to buy my number and I found... I kind of zoomed in on one that's local to me. It won't oh. let me select. It won't let me select it. <laughs> okay. It's like, what? <laughs> what's going on here? So, I, do, can you take a couple extra minutes and help me? Oh yeah, sure, sure. Do that. That's um, okay. And then, and then I'll let you go. Let's I know go it's really that. late it. for you. But that's that, that. I hit that roadblock, and I hit another roadblock earlier, and then I had to go do a bunch of let's stuff see. for that's for work, okay. and then. Here we are. Okay, so let's <laughs> so, about that. That's true. Let's yeah. So, up. do you want me to share my screen? Or? Yeah, sure. I'm already yeah, here. Okay. So you yeah. click on Hang to on. this. Okay. So. So yeah, I so here I am. I found a Georgetown number, five one two number, and it yeah. won't let me. It won't it will let me select it. Let's see. Five one two, okay. Eight eight two ten thirty eight. Go uh, type up there in the tech in the where it says United States. Type Texas. Okay, so inside of it. I think that's what I did. We, we yeah, or I filtered. Part. I filtered and put five one two. Put five one two. Five one two. And then it, not any part of the number, but early part or beginning of the number. Okay, first part. First of part number. of the number, yeah. Okay. And then I was looking for one in Austin, okay. and I couldn't find one. But if you scroll down, okay, so I'll show you the number. Me. Okay. So scrolling down. I wanted one that was there. We go, Georgetown. Okay. Where'd it go? Georgetown. George. That one's fine. That's not the one I was picking, but that one's fine. Um. Let's see if it works. Yeah, my screen doesn't didn't let me click on proceed to buy. It's it's phased out for some oh, reason. Wow. I don't know. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's bugs. <laughs> it's a bug. <laughs> well, let me try. Let me try again. Maybe it's just okay. So, at well, number, it's already bought. So, you know. Oh, it's already bought. That's okay. It should have just let me here. I'm doing add phone number. Yeah, They're going that fast. Huh? One. But see, it didn't even take me that far. So, um, here we go. Filter. No. Five one two. Any part of the number? I'm going to take the first part of the number. <sighs> All right. So here's an Austin one. Okay, Austin. Yeah, like I click on it, it doesn't let me proceed to buy. That's okay. weird. Uh, like I found an Austin screen? one here. Can you share your screen? uh yeah i can how do i do that in this thing um 
It's okay. You can share your screen. Let me see. Oh, I know I can, but it's uh, I'm in Zoom. Am I in Zoom? Oh, wait a sec. I have to check. At the bottom, he might have to oh, yeah. exit the full screen. Hang on. I got See so the little freaking, options at the bottom. So many freaking windows open. Um, hang on a second. Okay, two screens. So, Rekka here. I don't know how to share screen in Zoom. Huh. I do it all the time in other stuff. Um, do you see the do you see the, the menu at the bottom? At the bottom no, of it's the not screen? letting me scroll. It's not letting okay. me scroll. Let me it, let me move this over to my other screen. Hang on a second. Oh I've got multiple. Here we go. Here we go. Share screen. There it is. Yep. All right. All right, you see this by your number thing? Mizzou, do you see this um, by your number thing? We lost him. Mizzou, are you there? You're on mute. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I was okay. thinking with, with that. Okay. That's okay. Uh, so see, I've got, do you see my by your number? Little yep, pop up I here. So I've there's this Austin then number, but you see proceed to buy it. It won't let me it won't let me pick this. Okay, I got it. Let me check. Uh can you click on exactly to this? I mean let me check. Wait, just wait. What do you mean exactly? I uh, mean exactly this dot. This one? Right here? No, no, yeah. no not here. Exactly the, the this this white little, little circuit. Oh, oh, it didn't, it didn't show <laughs> anything. I didn't realize that's right? where I needed to be clicking. Well, that's weird. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Jeez, Louise. That's, that was the problem. I, I didn't realize there was this. Okay. I, I was like, okay. Uh, oh it, my God. <laughs> your system is actually being friendly to me, but not to you. Like, okay. <laughs> that's bizarre, man. Okay. And it says configure number purchase successful i don't know yep. what it charged oh, it to, to it. Yeah. i don't nice. know what it charged it to but um Still, that's okay for you i think oh uh, well this is google point. right this is google yep. so okay i have a card on file with google so that's that it probably charged it to that yep okay by the way uh the reason why it's going to be helping you for the next time is because if you have multiple team members in the future of course you you guys will more likely to call with different numbers for example, Massive Capital have around what, uh, 18 to 19 numbers right now. Going yeah, on. yeah. And I so, hope the team member go, joins you very easily, for sure. So let me make, while we're here, mm -hmm. um, if you don't mind, I know you've gone long. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, this number is kind of like a ghost number. I, I, this is not a number I'd put on a business card. This is not a okay. number I'd put on the bottom of my email or anything like that, right? Yep. No, this is not. This is not going to be the number. It's going to be yeah, only this, the number this. with side which your investors or when you talk about inside go high level sending SMS. You remember some government numbers are always there, which mm -hmm. are used to send SMS, and which are actually going for the basic client communication. That's exactly. For but them. that's all maintained within Client yes. Harbor. Yes, it's it's good. Yeah, be. yeah, okay. Which it'll pop up in Client Harbor if I do. No, no, there's no, there's not going to be any name of Client Harbor inside. No, there's but it's within that system. Yeah, exactly. It's within the system. That's for sure. Yeah. So it's not like I'm not going to ask somebody to call that number and I answer the phone. <laughs> that kind but of thing. You can do it as well if you want. I mean, if you want, the, the system can actually manage that as well. I mean, in that case, if someone is calling you in that number, after some time, if you come back to the system, you can call the exact ones and it will show as, I mean, right now the system will work as a mobile number or the system will work as a mobile phone. Interesting. Yep. Okay. I didn't realize that, but from my computer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Well, hey, thank you. That, that yeah, took kind of that step. Good. That was... Yeah, man, that's crazy. Because <laughs> yeah, I went in a couple of times. I couldn't get it to select, and it didn't show like anything to pick over here on the left hand screen. 
Crazy. All right. Hey, man, you made my day. Yeah, make progress. Thanks. Thank you so much. This was very helpful. Maria, okay, I look that forward comes to back to the, another thing that Maria, I yeah. think we also need to get your number as well. That's a good thing. So yes. I'm, I'm hey, Maria, do that real quick thing. while we're here. Do that real quick. You have to have <laughs> it to use the CRM. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll wait on it. Um, I, okay. um, so it's okay. On this. I'm I'm sharing my screen then on this case. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Dennis, can you? Uh, I'll stop. stop. Yeah, I'll stop. Yeah, great. So I'm adding the Maria's number as well. So Maria, uh, do let me know uh, which site, what filter do you want? I mean, in the site. She says she wanted to wait. So what should be the first few numbers? But three digit, digits, I mean. <laughs> it could be uh, 909. <laughs> nine on nine. Okay. That's zero right. zero nine. Nine zero, no, nine. zero zero nine. Okay, nine zero nine. Yes. Okay. So let's see if we find one. It's gonna be the first okay. part of the number. Let's see. Boom. Why okay. Seems like it's uh, real. okay. Let's see. I think uh I kind of like to see that make sure that it rhymes kind of a thing. So yep. it looks like the seven six four three two two five is good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's Pomona. It's showing at Pomona. Is that what it would show? Oh, uh, I mean about that the call? number. Yeah. Oh no, no, no! It's not gonna show Pomona. Hey, I'm. Uh, I'm sorry. I need to go because my wife's rattling at me in the back. Marie, I'll shoot you a note. We'll get together on Monday. Mizzou, okay. Thank Have, you so thank much. Thank you, Dennis. Have a great weekend. Thanks, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Um, if you want, I can, I can, I think I can do this myself. Um, yeah, that's for sure. so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can take a look at the numbers and yeah, analyze sure. them. Exactly. Yeah, uh, you, yeah. You, you can just go. I think you are, yeah. you're aware of the process, right? That's for sure. Yeah, I, yeah. You know what? I, I, I used a high level before oh, uh, with somebody great. else. I was, I was, yeah, I was able to use. Uh, it looks different, a little different from this one. I, yeah, I didn't it's do quite the. Different. Like, it's not. Yeah, about I didn't do the. Fine I, they have yeah, it, five times from twenty twenty. Oh wow! Yeah, I didn't do the workflows. The, the workflows oh, exactly. were done for me already on the other one. So doing the workflows here is a little, you know, different. So that's I really need to learn uh, that. No worries, but... I can connect you with the with someone who can already do the workflows and everything for you. I think oh, that perfect! Be a yeah, awesome. I mean, yes, the thank you, you so talked much. About, remember, like yes, the one I talked about, yes. Uh, they can all they can handle the whole high high level for you if you want. Oh, awesome! Thank you so much, Masu. That's that'd be really helpful. Okay, yeah, that's for sure. So I'm not, I'm gonna be knocking you within this weekend. That's gonna be sure. great. Okay. Okay, that's great. Thank okay, you so Maria, much. Have a good day then. Oh. Thanks you too. Oh. Have a wonderful weekend as well. Thanks yep. for all your help. Wonderful weekend. Okay. Thanks you too. Bye bye. bye, -bye.